Hi, I'm Crystal. I'm one of the aquarists here at the California Science Center. And today, we're gonna go feed some rockfish in one of our behind the scenes areas. Ready? Let's go. We house our animals in our behind the scenes areas for various reasons. Sometimes if the fish is too small, we will keep it in our holding area till it grows bigger before we put it into the main exhibit. Sometimes if our fish get sick or injured and put them into our holding area so we can closely monitor their health. All right, you ready? Let's dive in. Before I start feeding, I need to take a look around. There is a California halibut in this exhibit, and it will use its ability to camouflage to blend in with the sand. Wow, that's a lot of fish. You may be wondering how I can keep track of all of these fish during the feeds. Well, it's actually not that hard if you know what to look for. Let's break it down into smaller groups to help it make it easier for us. We have several different species of rockfish in this exhibit. First, we have a tree, a copper, a black, and a blue rockfish. Now, within each group of fish I just mentioned, we can actually identify some of the individuals. As you see here, one of our copper rockfish, he's identified because he only has one eye. Another species of fish that you see here is our olive rockfish. This individual will hang outside the main group of fish during the feeds. It is a very fast swimmer, so when it's turn to eat, it'll swim very fast to grab the piece of food. It is important to keep track of all of these individuals during the feed. As you notice, some of the fish are bigger than the others. I have several containers of food of various sizes. I do not want to give a piece that is too big to a small fish. Each fish is targeted individually, so that way I know that they get the proper size piece and maintain a proper balanced diet. Each fish is targeted individually. That being said, sometimes they cannot wait their turn and they get a little motivated and there is competition between the fish during the feeding time. As you see here, one of the fish actually bites the container containing the food. Since there are a lot of fish, we broke it down into four main feeding groups. I know exactly how many fish there are per feeding group, so it makes it a lot easier to tell who has already been fed. As you just saw, some of the fish are actually really hungry. Sometimes the fish don't want to eat at all. As you see here, our flag rockfish actually ignored me the entire time. Fish are pretty smart. As you'll soon see, one of the fish bumped into my hand and caused me to drop two pieces of food. This smart fish took advantage and was able to get two extra pieces of food. Before I finish my dive, there's a few friends that want to come say goodbye to you. Okay, I'm just about out of food, so I think it's almost time to end my dive. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.